Hi friends, welcome to Durga Soft. My name is Ratan. Okay, so we are discussing Java interview courses, question number 85. Question number how much ma? 85. Because all the questions are important, right? So we are discussing almost 85 questions. In interview, you are asking any question immediately to respond for that answer. Ma. Define the array and what are the advantages of arrays? What are the advantages of arrays? Can we guess define the array and what are the advantages of array? Because arrays are represent a group of objects as a single entity. Group of elements, guys. Arrays are representing the group of elements as a single entity. The, these elements are what? Homogeneous and fixed size. Arrays are store the group of elements, ma. Representing the group of elements as a single entity. And these elements are what? Homogeneous and fixed, fixed size. These elements are what? Homogeneous and fixed size, right? The arrays is fixed in size. The array is what? The size of the array is fixed in size. Once we create the array, we cannot increase and decrease the size, right? Exactly. But see, Arrays are fixed in size. Once we create the array, we can't increase and decrease the size. But arrays performance wise very good actually. When compared to collections, after this arrays we have the topic like collections actually. Advanced, of, uh, advanced version of arrays is what? Collections, right? Coming to performance wise, arrays are good or collections are good means definitely arrays are good performance wise. Because arrays are index based. So, index starts from always 0, right? Yes, we need to immediately say that answer define the array what the advantage of arrays means arrays are used to store the group of elements as a single entity representing the group of objects single entity the arrays are fixed in size once we create this array we cannot increase and decrease the sizes you got the point right arrays can store the homogeneous data arrays are like you know memory wise arrays are very good sorry performance wise arrays are very good performance with respect to the performance arrays are recommended to use so arrays we can go for the primitive arrays are there, object arrays are there. Arrays possible to store the primitive data as well as object data. Because integer array can store integer values, right? Int arrays can hold int array guys. I create int array, it can hold the integer values. Like primitive values, right? 10, uh, 10 point five like that. Int array can hold the integer values. Second one is what? Employee array. Employee array can hold what am employee values, right? Yes, employee array can hold what? Employee values or not. Yeah, integer array can hold integer values. Ma. Employee array can hold what? Uh, employee values, right? Exactly. Guess you got the point, right? If you know size in advance, it is recommended to use arrays in application here. Definitely. If you know size in advance, because arrays are performance good, right? Arrays are performance good means if you know size in advance, if you, if you, if you know size in advance, it is always recommended to use arrays only. But the only problem with arrays is what? Uh, only limitation about the arrays is what there is no methods, right? Arrays are doesn't support methods, guys. Arrays are doesn't support the methods means so operations becomes what a complex, right? Yes. Yes. If anyone is asking to define the array, what the advantage of arrays means? Arrays are to store the group of elements as a single entity, and uh, these are the fixed size uh, and you know homogeneous data. And arrays performance wise, arrays are good. And operations wise, the arrays doesn't support any methods. And arrays index starts from what is 0. Arrays can store both primitive data as well as object data also. Yes, arrays can store what? Both primitive data as well as object data, right? Exactly. Because if you know size in advance, if you know size, I know size, I can have only 100 elements. I know the size, I can have only how many elements? 100 elements. Then it is always, you know, recommended to go with what, you know? Tell me, it is always recommended to go with what? Uh, arrays in place of what collections right yes you get the point huh? yes yes by using arrays possible to store the primitive data and object data both can hello right yeah yes check that point check the question write the question meet in next video we'll go for next question thank you